Now, when we switch over to the front facing camera at night, now this is quite interesting with the Huawei and the Galaxy. You can clearly see more of me on the Galaxy than the Huawei. The Huawei image is very um, noisy. Uh, and when we get into more lighting situations, the Galaxy lights it up a bit more and just the imaging comes out much better on the Galaxy. Now, using the front facing camera with the V60 in the iPhone, surprising with the iPhone, the iPhone is completely dark. The V60 is noisy but you can clearly see me you can see, clearly see me where the galaxy buds a much better image overall but the iphone once you start getting in more lights the iphone basically of course looks a bit better right there now with the rear cameras for both devices uh here we have the galaxy now again this is post update so i've got autofocus and you can see better focus stabilization of course is not as, as smooth but still good the Huawei is brighter but very noisy image overall. Again, this is all recording at 4K 60. And then when we move back to the LG V60 and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, the iPhone here is more stable, uh, though the image quality, I think, though brighter, not as sharp as the V60. V60 is not as stable as the iPhone. And the imagery also, uh, though sharper, but not as bright as what you have. Okay, what about night mode photos with the front facing camera? Now the iPhone doesn't have a night mode. So this is a shot here with the iPhone is quite grainy, but you can clearly still see my face. Now, when we move over to the other three phones, the Huawei, the LG, the Galaxy, the Galaxy has the best image. Uh, it's less grainy, it's sharper, it's brighter. You can see my face, the colors of the two jackets I'm wearing. The LG V60 is the second best though. The color of my skin is more orangey in look, while the Huawei is probably the least out of all three but still a good image you can still see me clearly uh, but uh, it's much darker of all uh, three images here when it comes to low light selfies now trying to recreate a club like scene we have some pink light coming in and you can see the Huawei is kind of dark in my skin tone especially around my face uh, and also dark in my shirt while the galaxy has kind of brightened the shirt up and added infused that pink light all around giving you a much clearer image uh, i think overall uh with between these two and then looking at the v60 it's really taking a lot of that light in uh the sh the shirt color actually isn't bad compared to the iphone where the top half of the shirt really looks deep blue and then you've got more pink infusion in my face as well making my skin tone look a bit reddish um in general again it's a tough situation but i wanted to see how what it would do in in complex lighting and low light situations now this is a shot i mentioned earlier that we were going to get back to and we're checking out in of course low light situations the both of in both images look solid from both the Galaxy and the Huawei. Though the Galaxy represents the color of the building much better and less contrast and saturation as opposed to the Huawei which has that kind of shiny sheen to it. Still lovely images. Uh, while the LG V60 is very similar to the Huawei and the iPhone is similar to the to Galaxy. Though the iPhone has brightened the sky and added a little bit more of a slight orange tint which isn't there. It's just adding more of the yellow from the lighting around the city it's picked up. Now the ultra wide uh, shot here, low light, both images look nice though the Galaxy is more representative of the colors in daytime and you can see more of the yard as opposed to that darkened feature set where it's still clear but uh, very different on the Huawei P40 Pro. While with the V60 ThinQ, it's kind of added a bit more of a a uh, soft glow to it while of course the iPhone doesn't have low light in, um, capabilities in the ultra wide camera hopefully that changes this year you can see it's a bit more faded on the V60 now this is of course the main camera lens and you've seen some of the similar features where I do like the way the Huawei looks in the background while the foreground uh, the Huawei's colors are a bit off the Galaxy is much better and I like that that's the focus and it's much sharper with the Galaxy than it is with the Huawei P40 Pro now with the V60 ThinQ, it brightens everything all the way through. And I think the iPhone has the best uh, background color palette, while the foreground uh, is brighter. It's not as bright as say, the Galaxy, but it's still nice. And it's a good composition image as opposed to what the V60 brings, which is still good. Now, our final set of shots here, looking at, of course, this water tower we've taken a couple of times. The Huawei P40 Pro image is really nice. It showcases the fans, it shows the water tower, the building. The Galaxy is a bit more muted. So something that used to be brighter. Maybe the update has changed a couple of things here. It's a bit fuzzy in the foreground. 
while both the V16, the iPhone 11 Pro Max do a really good job here again uh, with the foreground and the background while the V60 is really bright, uh, especially around the subject matter of the water tower and the iPhone is a little bit more balanced in between for the foreground and the background of the images. Now when we look at zoom here, the uh, Huawei is brighter with its zoom at 5x, the Galaxy a bit more muted but again both images I think I do like the Galaxy, it's not as a shaky image as uh, what I have with the uh, Huawei. And then when we go to 10x zoom, this is where the Galaxy really shines. You can see 10x zoom on the Huawei, it's really dark. You can't see the uh, subject matter quite clearly as opposed to the Galaxy where it's quite bright. You can read the, read the letter in, you can see the water tower in clear uh, full distinction. So I have to say though, this comparison has been quite interesting with the results that you see here. On one hand, the iPhone 11 Pro Max still does a good job all around, but of course lacking certain aspects like no low light photography in ultra wide and also the front facing camera. On the other hand, you have the P40 Pro, which comes in really strong with its imagery. In terms of taking photos, uh, the front facing camera does a really good job. Uh, the rear cameras also do a solid job and the zoom also is quite impressive, matching or getting close to what the Galaxy S20 Ultra brings to the table. And the Ultra also is no slouch with its uh, front facing camera and its video acumen. Now LG on the other hand seemed a bit average for me all around but still solid, uh, maybe not as high as the other ones. Uh, it did really good job with audio though, especially in uh, the uh, voice recording with the front facing camera as well as also video recording with the front facing camera in low light conditions. I think there are many parts where these smartphones do better than the other depending on what you're looking at but I think it all uh, resides on what you want to use it for and that's why I'm going to ask you guys what did you guys think was the best smartphone for you here in this video. If you have any questions or any comments let me know. If you're looking to buy any of the items you've seen in this video use our links down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.